Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video on the channel. We're not going to feature any gameplay on this video in on this video and certainly not of the game that is related to what's in here. But let's let's actually bring the game that I'm going to be somewhat featuring into shot. So I'll bring this out for a second. But so the game we're featuring is, Twi is Twilight Imperium, but like I said, we're not playing it at all. So, what I'm expecting in the big box that I moved out of shot is a new insert. You might have seen the logo for the store in question, but anyway. So what I'm expecting this to be is an insert for Twilight Imperium. So let me show you what my current organizational sequence, what my current organization looks like. So I've got everything kind of jumbled up in here, about five million baggies. And I've also got the expansion, Prophecy of Kings. Let me tip the camera here. So I've still got that in, I've still got that as well in here, but you can see that's also largely a mess of baggies. But anyway, I'll go ahead and close that, move everything out of shot. And then we'll bring the relevant box once I get this reclosed. There we go. And we'll bring the relevant box here back in shot. So the kind of backstory on where this insert came from is, as you can see, my organization is a bit of a mess on this game, more than I would like it to be. And Anyway, right before New Year's Eve, a friend of mine who also has Twilight Imperium bought this exact same insert. So I was curious about it, but I wanted to see the insert for myself before I dropped that kind of money on it. Now, a group of us did get together at one of our local game stores to play Twilight Imperium for New Year's Eve, and I saw the insert for myself. As a side note, I did manage to win my game, but that's not the focus of this video. I ultimately liked the insert a lot, but I did have some concerns about it, and playing with it a little bit seemed to alleviate those concerns. This insert is actually from Tinkering Paws, and I'll provide a link to their Etsy store in the description down below. So in this video, we're going to unbox this insert, and then we're going to organize everything into it. While I go through everything, I also want to mix in some thoughts about the insert itself, and I want to have a small chat about the weeknight videos. With the winter campaign near its end, I've had plenty of time to get a feel for running the weeknight game videos, along with the campaign maintenance videos, so now I have a better idea on what I can do with these videos, but anyway, let's say I just jump right in and let's start with unboxing this beast. So this insert actually came in from Germany, and I missed one, I missed something in here as well, but anyway, no help for it at this point. I'm nervous about cutting toward me, but I can probably... I'm hoping I can make this work without slicing my hand completely open. I don't want to tear that either. Oh, come on. Eh, I can get in there anyway. Let's see if I can just slice... There we go. Okay. And I see we've got a box inside of a box. But anyway, we can get that out of shot. And then we'll crack this one open, hopefully without slicing my... Once again, hopefully without slicing my hand open. Okay, that kind of works. And we should be able to get in there, and uh, I see we've got craft paper and wonderful. Let's see, we've got a, looks like a little mini pamphlet here with a link to the store. And okay, uh, I was hoping they'd actually provide instructions. We've got more craft paper. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we got looks like we had to get some of this bubble wrap open as well. Uh, 
Looks like we got the dividers, some samples of Haribo candy in here. Get that out. And then this looks to be the space, this looks to be the holder for the tiles, probably the non-homeworld tiles. What do we have here? I think this is for... I think this is for the tokens, if my memory serves me right. I'll have to print off a set of directions. I was hoping there'd be an extra one in here, but looks like I'll have to go print that off. And what do we have here? Uh, looks like every individual piece is bubble wrapped. Okay, no, I think I know what these are. These should be the... Are these the... I think these are the ship holders that we've got. Should be eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe this makes, I believe these make seven, eight, but let's find out. Yes, that looks like seven, eight. We can get those off of shot. And then we have, okay, this looks to be, I think this is for the strategy cards. I'm going to have to go print, like I said, I'm going to have to go print off a set of directions. I was hoping there was going to be a set in here, but that should be easy enough to go print off. Looks like more stuff for tokens, I think. That doesn't quite fit there. And then I'm not going to unbox this until I'm ready for it, but we've got... Looks like all the tokens for each individual faction. Like I said, I'm not going to crack that one open until I get everything ready, but that box is now empty. So that's everything unboxed. Now I need to go print the directions, but when we come back, we're going to move over my shoulder so I can start organizing everything. So we've actually moved over my shoulder at this point for the to start organizing this beast. The last thing I needed to do, I thought I needed to do, but it turns out I've already done it, is I've actually organized the mechs out by color into more baggies. So now I think I'm ready to start with the color specific trays. So let's go ahead and get this cracked open. And just as a test, I'm going to start with red because red is my favorite color. But anyway. Okay, so, all right, so here's red, looks like this little tray holds the, looks like this tray holds the fighter tokens, where are all of those, okay. I think we've got, now we've got all of those, so those go in here, and if I turn it like so, cruisers go here, and I think I got them all. All right, so while I'm organizing this whole thing, like I said, I did want to mix in my thoughts about the weeknight videos, Dreadnoughts Go, Dreadnoughts Go in here, it looks like. Uh, not there. 
hopefully that'll still close. Uh, let me get the cards as well. Here we go, I think, yes. Okay, so I did want to mix in my, like I said, I did want to mix in my thoughts on weeknight videos. So just to give everybody the 10,000 foot view on what the, on what's going on on that front. Blast it all. These cards aren't staying well. So just to give everybody the 10,000 foot view on what's going on. So I did start streaming on Twitch briefly earlier earlier this year after the move was all done. Is that, I think that's pink. So I did, anyway, I did start streaming on Twitch earlier this year, but I was having never ending technical issues, which caused me to junk the stream out. Is that a faction specific? That might be faction specific, anyway. As I was saying, so I was having a lot of technical issues with Twitch. You might have noticed that the stream was basic, was just pixelated, and I never, I didn't have, I just had never-ending technical issues. I could never get the sound right to where I really fully wanted it to be. The stream was pixelated. Like I said, it was just overall a mess in the grand scheme of things. But... So once I never was able to get that figured out, I never, I never did pursue the technical issues after I decided to move forward with the weeknight videos. And the reason I decided to move forward with the weeknight videos was because I wanted to experiment with featuring additional content on the channel. So that's where the idea for the week, that's the idea for where the weeknight videos came from. Because I have, have a lot of smaller games on the channel, I have a lot of videos like this as well, where it's basically just either me sitting here talking to you guys, or it's either just me sitting here talking to you guys like this, or product unboxing, stuff like that, where I wanted to feature lighter stuff on the channel, basically. But, so I set aside, Mon so I set aside Wednesday night to try that out. I also did still have some concerns, though, in terms of... I also did have some concerns with that in terms of the gray area and actually figuring out what games would fit on a weeknight video like that. So it was basically anything that I felt was too light for a Sunday, for a Sunday night video, which that's basically reserved for stuff like Zaya. Any, pretty much anything in the Arkham Horror Files, or anything like that. So, anyway, I also did experiment with games that I thought might be too long for the... For a... or not too long. That I did experiment with games that I thought initially would be too long for the Wednesday night videos. Mostly, it was Terra Mystica and Gaia Project that I thought kind of fit into that gray area. And actually, there's a lot of gray area in my collection. But I do have Gaia Project on the Wednesday night schedule to test that out. But flagship is right here. So I had originally used Christmas and Arkham, actually, as the uh, destroyers. I believe these are the destroyers. I used Christmas and Arkham as an experiment for the weeknight videos because I wanted to mix it up a little bit with the... Doom of the World kind of taking center stage, so I wanted to have something... I don't know if maybe lighter is the word, but I definitely did want to have a variation on content that I featured. But... So... I did have some... But I did have some liberties available that I could have taken due to year-end PTO in December, but I didn't want to take that just because I wanted to leave the schedule as normal as possible. And then mech units go, looks like they go in here. So I did want to leave the time schedule alone as much as I could, just to make sure I had a normal feeling schedule because I knew this was 
because I figured there was a chance this was going to be something I was going to continue with throughout the course of the year. Largely, I, l those concerns feel like they're largely unfounded at this point. Infantry goes in here. But anyway, those concerns on the weeknight videos largely feel like they're unfounded. So, I did have to play around a little bit with the schedule on the weeknight videos, but otherwise, I largely think the weeknight videos will work on the channel. Where do these go now? I think these go in... These go in... Looks like they go in there? That doesn't seem right. Um... Okay... Uh, apparently that's the only place where they really fit. Now where did I put the lid for... Here it is. So I largely think... Oh, look at that. I need, I think I need to play around with the, with getting the destroyers to fit and close. But, um, actually I don't think it's the destroyers. It looks like the cruisers that are causing me problems here in terms of not wanting to sit in, at an angle where they'll actually close. I still don't feel like they're sitting quite right. Uh, actually, that one seems like it is sitting pretty well, so I think... I think that'll work, actually, but... Anyway, I'm kind of getting rambly on that, but what I'm getting at is the weeknight videos actually seem like they're here to stay. So, next month I also plan on starting into my Tack Up Wargaming list. We'll move into the green section next. But anyway, those videos... Oh no, the... Fighters actually go in here. So let me see if that... So the fighters go here. And that still... Does not seem like it completely wants to close. Actually, no, I think that is closing now. But anyway, as I was saying, the Tack Up, the Tack Up Wargaming videos, I think, are going to start hitting the channel starting, are going to start hitting the channel next month is the plan, I'm pl and I'm planning on leaning hard into that list, where of the ten games, I only, I don't have one yet, because it's still currently on pre-order, but I will be planning on getting that on the channel once I practice, once I get it here and practice it a few times. But next month, I do have five games that I'm planning on getting on the channel off of that list, so yeah, like I said, I just need to get the I just need to get everything together and then practice the games a few times before they actually do hit the channel. Where is the green flagship? Ah, here it is. So anyway, this project is actually going to take me quite a while to do. I'll go ahead and organize the green components as well here. Dreadnoughts for... Am I missing? No, I'm not missing a green dreadnought. It looked like I was for a second there, but I'm not. But yeah, I think... It seems like this is largely going to handle everything in terms of everything I have for Twilight Imperium. This is fourth edition that I'm putting together, by the way. The only edition of Twilight Imperium that I have, but this insert looks really neat. Looks like it'll do exactly what I need it to do. So I can get the fighters out of here. Uh, should have been one more, I thought. There we are. Uh, 
Now do I have them all? I think so. So those can go in there. Uh, green cards can go... <sighs> Delightful. This is always kind of annoying. Anyway, looks like we've got a promissory note there. And one of those. Those can go there. Cruisers we established go in here. Uh, destroyers go in here. Space docks go here. Infantry. Here, what goes in here? Oh, that's the carriers, I think. Infantry, we got more infantry. These, we got two more destroyers. And these fit in here. We got one more, and then the PDSs go in here. Fighters, and what did I do with the lid for this one? It still is not wanting to close properly. How did I finally get the red one down? So it closes properly. That seems, that seems like it'll hold. Okay, I think we can work on purple next. So yeah, that's where, that's kind of where things stand in terms of the weeknight videos at this point. I will definitely always be kind of evaluating where things stand there, but like I said, I think by and large, the week, like I said, by and large, the weeknight videos seem like they're going to be here to stay on the channel. So, where is the, okay, that's the purple flagship, cruisers, Look here. Base stocks. Get the fighters out. Three. I think we'll finish this one up and then I'll come back with the. I think I'll come back with all eight of these organized by color. Infantry goes in there. Space docks. I just had one fall through. Where did it... I felt it fall, obviously, but I didn't hear it land. Oh, well. There's another infantry. Destroyers go in here. Another infantry. Cruisers all go in here. Mechs. Come on. Go in here. Now I want to find that. Oh, there's that PDS. Fighters didn't need to jar the camera. Go here. This is purple. Uh, 
And let's see if we can get a third one taken care of. Yeah, I think that one is closed. So, no, that one doesn't seem like it's closing all the way. Hoping it was just because a fighter came dislodged. It seems like it is. Okay, I think that's holding now. So anyway, rather than bore you guys with, with preparing all eight of those, we're actually going to come back probably tomorrow morning with the with the ships all done. There are the player trays all done by color. Now, I do like that you can see what color is in there. They just, the lid, I don't know. The lid just seems a little loose to me and it'll probably, it'll probably be fine once I get everything in the box and get some books and heavy stuff down on top of it. It just, it kind of bothers me a little bit. But anyway, that's amusing for when this is actually finished, I think. Next up, it'll be by the magic of, it'll seem like just a little while by the magic of editing, but I think we're gonna come back in the morning and I'm going to look at getting the tiles ready next. As promised, we're back over my shoulder. This is supposed to be the piece that has all the system tiles in it. So the tallest compartment, which one of these is the tallest compartment? Um, I don't think there is a tallest. But I've got all of the, it should be all of the, wait, this is everything I think. So let me sort out the home tiles, which should be all of these with the faction on them. Let's see, so there's Mechatol, okay. Flatten these out. I think these go in here. And it looks like they want me to split them between the rest of the compartments. So we'll get, where do these fit into the numbering sequence? Okay, looks like those are, those outside that bubble? 50, looks like, it. okay. Right, so we'll do this. Doubt these will all fit. That's kind of okay. I think it would go like this. Then we can get some of these. And these should fit in here. Wait. more in here. Um, hold on. Something did not turn out great. Right I'm trying to keep these in somewhat numerical order. Let's see, so 44, 50. Okay, so 50 goes in here. Then we've got, okay, we've got more home worlds. So these. We've got a few more of these. These need to go in here. And then what did we say this was? 72. I think I started putting these in, not there. Here is 43 to 50. Looks like we go 59 into here. I'll probably move a couple of these back over here. Then what are these? 90s. So those go here. 
And then this is supposed to fit Is this supposed to fit Malice and Cruz placed on Oh these two weird shaped home worlds or these two weird shaped tiles. Um yeah, it looks like they go like that. And I think I think that's how the system tiles are supposed to go. So looking at that, I'll see if I can zoom in a touch on that, but that looks to be the general idea of how the tiles are supposed to go. So I can get that out of shot and then we'll bring the the all the all player tokens into the all player player token box into shot next. All right, so these two trays look to be where the fighter and infantry tokens fit along with the, wait a minute, does it turn, looks like it turns like that. And then here's supposed to be where the trade goods and everything else goes. So let's just go ahead and dump all of these in. Let's see, so we've got the singles and the three infantry, looks like singles up here. Bags can go to the side. Threes. Looks like they're going to end up down here. Same thing with fighters. Here's the singles. <clears throat> okay, I think that'll work. And then trade goods. Well, we we'll put this on top. And make sure these are laying as flat as possible. Let's see, then trade goods go in these two compartments. Singles. And threes. I'd rather those were laying, I'd rather these threes were laying flat as much as possible than stacked on their side like that. Let's see if I can adjust these. Okay, yeah, that'll, I think that'll work. And those can move out of shot. Get that out of shot as well. Um. Let's see, six is the Frontier Tokens. Which ones... Do I have a rules reference in here, preferably without jarring the camera, for Prophecy of Kings? Because I imagine that's where I'm going to figure out which tokens are which. Let's see, here we go. Um... Let's see, it looks like those, looks like these are the Frontier Tokens, those go in this compartment. Alright, are these, what are these, faction specific? It might be. Uh, dimensional Tokens. Uh, let's see. Um, five is attachment. 
which I think is all of these, which I think are all in here. Let's see, that's a Mirage. That looks like an Ion Storm. That's a destroyed planet, so I imagine that'll go in miscellaneous. So I'll just start organizing those in there. Um, let's see. Gamma Wormhole Tokens. One, two, three, four. Those go in here from the looks of it. Uh, five. Okay, so looks like miscellaneous goes in here. So Mirage. Which ones are, did we say, are the Ion Storm? Oh, the Ion Storms are in there already. Um, okay, so what goes in here? Let's see, that seems like a faction attachment. Well, I'll count these up though, looks like I'm supposed to have 13. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So those apparently go in there. Except there's also, oh, looks like the Destroyed Planet, Mirage, Ion Storm, Custodian Speaker. So those go in there. I think these are probably all Faction specific. So these are probably supposed to go in. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet dollars to donuts. These are supposed to go in with the respective faction boxes. So, as far as I can tell, that seems like it should be ready to go. So, next up, let's bring the. So if I think these are supposed to go in with the faction tokens, what's in here, by the way? Oh, we'll come to those in a minute. So I think we can get these out of shot. I'll put them back in the box for now, but we can bring the strategy cards into shot next. So we've got the holder here for the strategy cards. I'm just going to put everything in with the... I'm just going to put all the strategy cards together, including the extra... including the two that apparently are rewordings of the... Um... And ready. Each exhausted planet you control. So that looks like an expansion one. Let's see, you may either place a... Okay. So I'll just put the, those should fit in here. Look at that. Uh, actually, they'll fit. Maybe they go like that. And the dice. And I'll go in there with a nice fit. And there's a space for the cards that get removed when using Prophecy of Kings. But I'll have to sort. I'll have to sort those out later. So, but. Anyway, speaking of the cards, I think we can bring the card trays into shot next. Alright, so we've got the various card holders. Now, it does make, they do make, she does make notes on the card when we get to the card boxes. Depending on if you own only the base game or the Prophecy of Kings, or also Prophecy of Kings, and if you use sleeves, you'll need one, two, or all three boxes. Now, I both use the... I both have Prophecy of Kings and I sleeve, so I will need all three of these. Let's go get the cards, though. Oh, uh, wait a second. Something... Okay, so I needed... Looks like I've got four bags for these. Let's see if we can figure out what's what on here. So, looking at these dividers, I think we have one. We have one of my main concerns with the dividers. So, as you can see, let's 
As you can see, these are the dividers that separate out each type of card. My main concern with these, and it might be fine with how I sleeve everything, but that is an open divider. So what I'm worried about is that the cards are going to have a bit of an easier time separating in there, but let's go ahead and find out. So I'll start with the Agenda 1s, and I do have some stuff from Prophecy of Kings, so I think what I'm going to do to try to make that a little bit easier on me is I'm going to put the base game stuff toward the front and then the expansion toward the back just so it's easy to pull out when I go to start a game of this. So we've got the... These are actually the action cards I'm pulling out right now. I'm getting everything together. That's... Right, so that is agendas? Yes. Actually, those are the level one objectives, is what this <clears throat> divider's for. So, agendas. These are secret objectives. And here's level one. I believe, yes, yeah, these are all base game. And we have the level two objectives. Let's see, where did the Prophecy of Kings... I think I just have them integrated in here. So let me see if I can find everything just to roughly get it all sorted out. And I believe this is all... wait. It's all in here. Duh. Yes, I believe this is all... Yes, this looks like... It looks like Prophecy of Kings specific stuff. So there are the level 1 objectives. Level 2. Secret objectives. Right, that's not going to work. The sleeves are making everything so slippery. But... As much as I spent on this game, there's no way I'm not sleeving everything. Probably need one of these just for the action cards at this rate, but... Alright, so we've got the level 1. And we'll put expansion stuff to the back. Okay, so that goes like so. Seems like it seems like it's gonna be fine, and I think I think it's, it looks like it's because of the sleeves that everything seems to be catching just fine. So I can put the two objectives in, well, two objectives in here. Then we'll get the faction level two divider. Looks like this is all going to end up being faction-specific stuff, so that's probably going to go in with the... At least I hope it'll go in with the faction boxes. And what are these? These are... Okay, these are the mechs. So I'm going to kick those to the sides, as I expect those will be going in with faction-specific stuff. And we've got... Looks like faction-specific... Promissory notes. Wait. We got more color specific stuff over there. I'm going to put that down for a second. Mostly so I can start sorting this all out. Two, three, four, five. Pink. Red. Green. Blue. And then faction-specific promissory notes, which also will go to the side. Let's see. We've got more. We've got the planets in here. Just what all of 
this is and now we're starting to get into it looks like faction specific so necros um, didn't I just have didn't I have a necros specific promissory note in my hand ah here it is no that's Volwraith. Uh, I think I have the necro promissory note here Federation of Soul sorry I'm I'm doing a lot of this stuff off camera, but trying to somewhat keep everything organized here. Um, okay, that's more faction specific. That can probably move off. And then I've got more. I've got more color stuff here that I need to organize into the color boxes. Let's see, we've got different planet types. I think this is, this is all expansion specific. Industrial, cultural, hazardous planet event types. I forget which is which. Let's see, looks like more faction specific stuff, which we'll need to go into the... Which will need to get put aside for faction boxes. That's yeah, that's Max. Okay, so that'll need to go into the faction box. Then we've got frontier cards. Relic. Admittedly, if I was a little bit more prepared for this, then I think these are. Yeah, that looks like a type of card that's sorted over here. Admittedly, if I was a little less scatterbrained and had maybe had a lot more space to work with as well, I probably would have done this and laid out all these cards ahead of time. But, like I said, I'm... I think I was expecting to get this insert maybe a couple of days later than I did. Leaders. I wonder if that's all going to... I wonder if this... Stuff will all fit in with the faction cards. We'll find that out. I think we'll probably find that out soon enough, but we can move those to the side for the time being. Oop. Then we've got more planets, which is similar to what I did with the... Similar to what I did with the... Watch a call, similar to what I did with the action cards and all of that. I'm going to put the Prophecy of Kings stuff toward the back. So it should show me. Okay, it's on. It's on that side, but you can see there. There is an icon in the lower right corner to indicate if it's from the faction or not. So we've got a whole mess of planets here, all of which I think will fit. Rather nicely in here. So I'll go ahead and find the. This looks like the planet. This one's the planet divider, so that'll go in here. And actually, we've got a bit, of, bit more space than I expected to in there. Um, that fit the. Will that fit the secret objectives? That doesn't seem likely. But we can we'll definitely find out. Actually that just that just barely will fit the secret objectives. So I can grab those. Grab this to go in here. Come on. These dividers are also a little bit on the flimsy side, which is making it hard for me to get a hold of them. It'll probably be fine when they're. I think it'll be fine when they're weighted down by when they're held in place by cards. And this one will take the action cards, um, which I need this divider for. And I think the the agendas. 
Yep, the agendas will go in here, which is all of this, and I can probably get the um Can I get the frontiers in here? I think so. And then here's the divider for that. Let's see, I should be able to get these in here. Uh, what about the, I assume these are the relics. Oh yeah, these look like relics. And I need that here. So that'll slide into place. I can get that out of shot as well. And then we've got... Wait a second. Did I grab a... I think I grabbed a wrong... back for these. So these are the agendas. <clears throat> no, that one... That one's right. Um, oh! No, I did grab the wrong... So I grabbed the wrong one of these somewhere else. I think this is... So that divider goes here. Come on. There we go. And then the back here is... This one. Okay. So now that we've got that figured out, now I should be able to fit the... Now I should be able to fit these... in here. Okay, so we got that, these, and all of these. And yet, like I said, I don't, th because of the, because of the sleeves, I don't, th I think the divider will be fine, so I don't think those are going anywhere, but... Anyway, I can get those out of shot, and then I've got to organize these. Okay, these go with faction-specific stuff. And then I've got to organize these into the specific colors, but when we come back, we're going to start with the... we're going to start into the faction-specific stuff. So before we jump into the, before I jump into actually preparing the faction boxes, decided to show you guys that I decided to be a little less scatterbrained and actually sort out the faction cards beforehand. So this way I'm not scrambling to find everything. I can probably leave the tokens as still mostly a jumbled mess, but anyway, I suspect we'll sort that out in short order. But now let's move back over my shoulder and prepare the faction boxes. All right, so here we've got all of the race-specific boxes. So I'm sure we'll find out what the openings are for soon enough, but there's a symbol for each faction. The lids are maybe a touch finicky. They don't have that, they do have somewhat of a click in place. They seem like they like to stick, but anyway. Let's see if we can organize everything. So it looks like I happened to grab the Necro. Uh, looks like we can fit the cards in here. And it looks like there's, spa there's space in here for the tokens to just go in. I don't... I still don't completely like the just dumping everything in. So I think these are probably... I think these... Let's see if there's space for the baggie to still go in here and close. Looks like it. And we've got the, looks like we got this, to this, these tokens for the necro. Yeah, so that'll close. Like I said, I'm still kind of bothered a little bit that there's not a, I'm a little bit bothered that there's not a separate component space for the tokens to be separated. I think I would... I'm really liking this insert as a whole, but that's just... that's one thing that just kind of bothers me a little bit, where you basically dump everything in, and I think I prefer to have the... 
I think I prefer to have separate space for the control and strategy tokens to go. But anyway, I'll do a couple more of these. This lid does not did not want to pop off. But anyway, we can throw the cards in here. This one didn't have any faction-specific tokens. Um, let's see, that's this faction. Once again, I can leave the baggie with the tokens in there. Everything closes. I'll do one more, but then I'm going to do the rest of these off-camera, and we'll come back to the rest of them all being prepared and ready to go. So there's that faction. Um, here are the tokens for them. And hey, look at that. It's all closed. So anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off so I can do this. I don't want to bore you guys with it. I just wanted to do a few of them so you can get my initial thoughts. And then we'll come back with every, with all of these boxes prepared and ready to go. Took me a little bit of doing, but the race boxes are all organized. Now, there were two factions that I could, that I had, that had specific tokens that I unfortunately couldn't fit in. They were, um, this one and, or actually, both of these two. So there were tokens that were in, that I had to leave in baggies, because again, I can't, I can't willingly swallow the idea of just dumping all of the tokens in, in there and having them be a disorganized mess. So I left the, so I left the strategy to, I left, so the way I bagged everything up when I first set up this game was I had the strategy tokens in the, in the bigger bag, then I had the control tokens, which are the, which are these tokens in with, in a smaller baggie inside this size baggie. Now I do have one control token from each faction. I should make sure that I have all 24 and I don't just need to pull one out from the, I might need to pull, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, 16, 17. So yeah, I'm going to have to pull some of the base facts, one from each of the other factions out. So I can... Mostly I do that so I can do random draw when I run this game. But let me see which factions I still need. So once I get, all, once I get that done, then I'll finally be ready to start putting this... I'll finally be start, ready to start putting everything together. That the fact that the lids aren't sitting completely right is also kind of bothering me a little bit. But in the grand scheme of things, I think it'll be fine once I get. I think it'll be fine once I get everything pressed together. But anyway, I'm going to finish that organizational part, and then we'll actually put the box together. Okay, I've emptied the box out of everything. The, this is the main box for Twilight Imperium. I've emptied everything out. So now we can go ahead and start organizing everything in. So it looks like we want the... Looks like we want four ship boxes in here. And then I would be stunned if the other four don't just go right on top. Color me unsurprised. I've got the directions off camera that I'm following so I can organize this whole thing. Okay. Next up, we want the race boxes and the strategy card and dice box in the gap. So these can all go in here. Yeah, it's still, it's kind of bothering me a little bit that these boxes aren't quite clicking in, that some of these boxes aren't quite clicking in place. But my hope is, my hope is once I get everything, once I get all the books and papers and stuff I've got in here pressed down on top of it, it should be fine. But the only way we'll know for sure is to get everything in here so we can find out. Okay. And those last few race boxes. 
Come on. So those go here. Okay, that's... Sorry, I started my car because I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping this morning, and that thankfully does not seem to be screwing with the lighting. Then the strategy cards go in here. Everything that's kept in plastic bags on the left. Um, oh, down here. So on the left, which hopefully will help hold those lids down. Then the faction sheets, leaders, actually these should probably go there as well. Then all the books, all instructions and booklets on the right. So we'll put that in there. I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with those, where those player aids are gonna go. Um, probably somewhere similar with the deluxe rule book. Let's see about that. Then card boxes go in here. Slide everything in there. Took a little bit of wiggling to make everything fit, but... This goes here. I don't think the orientation completely matters. And this goes in the back, it looks like. Wait. That's not going to fit oriented that way. Oh. It goes that way. That's why it wasn't fitting. Okay, then that goes there. Looks like I'm going to have to keep the... Can I get the player aids in here? Barely no. So that's going to probably be a separate folder for that, but... Okay, looks like I had another baggie, so I need the draw tokens. I do have room for a dice bag in here so I can keep random, so I can use random draw. And oh my, look at that. The one thing I'm still... Whoa, that is heavy. The one thing I'm still, I'm kind of a little bit nervous about is transporting this thing. I'm going to have to make sure, I'm going to have to make sure everything lays flat, but I think, I really do like that insert aside from some of the minor concerns with everything not potentially completely holding in place, but I'm a little nervous about those open tokens traveling, but hopefully everything will work out fine. But anyway, that is Twilight Imperium, my Twilight Imperium copy. The storage, much improved on that game, but I'm, like I said, for the most part, I'm very happy with the insert, except for some minor complaints, but anyway. I'm sure I'll have a way to use my new open box for Prophecy of Kings, but I'll have to kick around how I want to do that, but that will do it for this video. Tomorrow we're still on track to continue the winter campaign in Arkham Horror the card game as we venture into the heart of madness. And then Wednesday we're playing Terra Mystica. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.